Hey guys, I'll jump back in the video. And uh, for today's video, I got a bit of a pickup video for you. Uh, a few weeks ago, I went to Hobby Off in uh, Hashioji, it's like the mega uh, hard off Hobby Off off house up there in the Hashioji area. And uh, from time to time, I do find some pretty awesome stuff there. And uh, then back then, it was no exception. Uh, what I'm gonna show you is probably about, I think there's 40 uh, WWF slash WWE uh, Attitude Era magazines. Um, pretty much in mint condition. And I can't believe I found these there for less than like two bucks a piece. And I literally bought them all. And I just wanna show you uh, each one uh, individually. And I'll probably show a little bit of the insides of them. Uh, this probably be a long video. But I just want to show you, you know, what these magazines look like and what uh, I guess Attitude Era was back when, you know, back when it was back when it was the WWF. Um, there's a little more risque in the magazines, and you'll see that when you see the divas and and the things of that nature. So I got a full stack of magazines here. So I'm gonna put the this uh, 30, 39 magazines to my left over here. I'll start out with this uh, ECW one. So this is the first magazine uh, that's it was on top of the stack and starting with it. So ECW, warning extreme content inside. Um, I think this one has a little a little fold out here. And I think if I remember right, yeah, it's a, it's a uh, collage. Okay, you can see that it's a collage of like some brutal action in ECW. Uh, pretty minty, I would I would say. But I could go through every single magazine in depth, but you know, this is a rehash of the ECW. It's not the original ECW. You can see it's a 2005. So this is like the WWE's version of ECW, but it's like a, a summary of the old school ECW. It's pretty awesome. Um, and some risque divas there, or not divas, but I'm not sure what to call them back then. I think this woman of ECW. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool magazine on the back. It has a, an advert for Destroy All Humans. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I got a lot, lot, a lot of magazines to go through. I'll put this one off to the side. And uh, let's go to the next one. Now this was probably my, fa my favorite magazine in a whole bunch. Um, it's the whole... The magazine is dedicated to uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's a special collector's uh, issue. Uh, September 20th, 1999. So it's a pretty old magazine. Um, I'm not sure if it's super rare or how much it's worth, but it's in pretty good condition. It's not like super mint. Just some little wear on the edges, but it's extremely readable. You know, it's all there, all the posters inside. It's all about Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there's a WF Attitude video game advert. And the advert for Got Milk, I remember that. This is, I was actually watching a old WWF, like, uh, I guess, infomercial or commercial on YouTube, and they had, when Stone Cold was a CEO, and he had this magazine in his hand as, like, the starter guide, <laughs> or his introduction to the company. So that was pretty awesome, or, or not, basically, I have the magazine right here. No, it's, like, what, 19 years old at this point? Pretty awesome magazine. Here we got Batista and Triple H, Hell in a Cell. Um, I remember this feud from back in the day. Pretty awesome to kind of go through these magazines and kind of re remember all these feuds. Back when, uh, what was it, Batista was in like, uh, I forget the name of that group. It escapes me now. I, I, I knew what it was before. He was with he was with uh, Ric Flair and uh, Randy Orton, or something like that. I forget the name of that faction. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, Mick Foley on cover here, uh, February two thousand. Got Toy Reynolds. Got No Yell advert. SmackDown advert. <laughs> Rock, rock getting a haircut before the rock got like huge 
Dwayne Hurricane. Yep, a little biography about Dwayne Johnson. This is, a, you know, risque, you know, as it, as it comes. Magazines back then. I, I don't know if WWE does this now with their divas or not. I'm not sure. But I don't know if I collect magazines or do subscriptions at all. This Tensai or Prince Albert. <laughs> but I saw this these magazines in a hobby off and they're like all they're pre-wrapped up in plastic and they're like 200 yen a piece and I couldn't pass them up and I haven't read all of them but you know eventually I'll go through them that was a good coffee table book now this is a uh, of course that's the rock on the cover when he's first getting into movies uh, rock and roll Holly versus for the people's champ this is a uh, March 2001 the rock, the rock looks so different <laughs> No, just, just Deborah there. Yeah, her barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's such nostalgic all through these magazines. What's her name? Tori. Gives me yoga or something. Jeez. Jeez, I'll probably get like uh, my ads taken off this video for this. <laughs> That's pretty risque for a WWE. Or F magazine. I'm not sure what that is. I guess she has like a scar or something on her body. I don't know what that is. But yeah, it's what WWF was back then. You know, they put all these risque divas and, and photo shoots in their magazines to sell them, obviously. I just wonder who turned this all these magazines magazines into a hobby off. You don't really find too many, I guess, Western magazines in a hobby off. You might find a comic book here or there. But I never found this amount of like WWF, WWE like mer like stuff in a hobby off before. This Kurt Angle. Uh, this is uh, October 2002. Deleted in the corner. Poster inside, of course. Tori Wilson. Yeah, this is so much nostalgia. And this Tori Wilson there. I'm oh, sorry, Alita. Not Tori Wilson. Jeez. It looks the same. Or in Raw 25, Triple H, The Game, Eric Bischoff, Red Dragon advert for some reason, not sure why, Anthony Hopkins, who sucks, <laughs> definitely not Kurt Angle, the best in the business, overnight superstar basically. Chris Jericho, Jericho Rocks. This is uh, October 2000. Like I said before, this video is going to be probably super long. And I got to watch my time on my other camera and make sure I don't go over 30 minutes because I think it'll stop recording. I had that problem last time. That's why I'm doing this video kind of again. That's why I'm not as surprised with these magazines because I remember I went through them about a week or two ago. But it's still, geez. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's the WWF back then. Attitude Era. I don't think you see that in today's magazines. Everyone's too sensitive. Now here's a kind of a... I like going through these magazines and finding uh, these old, I guess, spreads for the merchandise. I actually do have a couple of these jerseys. And I have that shirt. But I'll probably do a video in the future of kind of showing off my collection of... Uh, of a, Quite a collection of Stone Cold Steve Austin jerseys, and uh, see, I'm wearing one uh, right now. <laughs> but book of brawler, an advert for uh, Destruction Derby Raw. I don't think I had that one. But Jericho's always he's always been a rocker persona. Y2J, Fozzie, RVD. I'm the man. This is October 2001. I'm trying to speed it up here a little bit. Another diva spread, Tori Wilson. Jeez. If I had the time and money and effort, I might, who knows, probably take all these posters out and hang them up on the wall or something, like frame them up. But I'm not leaving them inside for now. It's my yard. I was Roman Reigns' yard, apparently. But I don't think Roman Reigns was even born yet. <laughs> Smackdown, I actually had this game. PlayStation. Back when he was the man, not so much now. 
Dynasty. I guess that's what the fraction was called. I thought it was called something else. Oh, well, Evolution, that's what it was called. Yeah, Evolution. Triple H, Batista, Ric Flair. That was a pretty good faction back in the day. I don't know what this is. It's like an old receipt. So the WWE Raw, November 1600 yen back in 2004. That's interesting. This is uh, November 2004. This is October. So this might be a receipt for something for the magazine itself. Whoever bought it. It's, just, you know, it's nostalgia, the old Eugene. <laughs> Chris Benoit. And all, you guys know the controversy with Chris Benoit. Wolverine workout. Victoria. And all these magazines are really good condition. Uh, later on in the video, I'll show you. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do to preserve these magazines even more. Cena gets raw. This is a July 2005. It's a little bit older magazine. A lot of these are from like 1999 era. Yeah, this. You know, Stacy Keebler. You know. All this merchandise, you got all the guys, you know, you got all the good guys that, not necessarily good guys, but all the guys you just watched back in the day in the Attitude Era, back when they are all healthy. Stacy Keebler is kind of half of her. I don't like when they do that. Yeah. John Cena. Yeah, yeah, Triple H on the cover again. Let's see, this is from December 1999. Special tribute to the Grill Monsoon. So I guess this is when he passed away. Around the time he passed away. I remember these checkbooks. I remember wanting these back in the day. Main Street Posse. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, Tori. I she's getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. Now I'm thinking of Ivory. They, they all kind of look the same. I don't think she's, I don't think she's running a subway wearing that. Jeez. At least not in uh, today's terms. <laughs> like, who would be walking streets of, like, New York or whatever <laughs> in this? Like, there's no way. Deli Boys, they're going to the Hall of Fame for sure. I got a lot of magazines to go through. Let's see, Raw, get it. This is kind of, a, I guess, a summary of Raw. Uh, June 1999, so pretty old magazine. Um, that's right, I, I, I just, I have this magazine right here. We're not, yeah, I have you, you saw it earlier, the special edition Austin 316 magazine. It's kind of funny. Hey, enemy, when Stephanie got crucified, jeez. But yeah, this, there's Ivory, I think. Or, dang, it's Tori again. I don't know why I get Tori and Ivory confused all the time. Oh, I remember that iconic photo. Portrait from her. I get Tori and Ivory confused. Quaker State. Mark Henry. I remember that. I guess they get it. Because they know it's raw, sable, you get it. Al Snow, this guy, this whole picture kind of sums up how raw, I guess, or how raunchy or, you know, the Attitude Era was. You know, it's definitely not like this anymore and it's sad that it's not. But, you know, times change. You can't really do that anymore on TV. I remember this feud, Edge, Lita, uh, Matt Hardy, Love Triangle, September 2005. You know, Edge retired, Force retired about six years later, so it kind of stinks, I guess. But, WrestleMania 22 stuff, jeez, more you can, buy, you can buy you a separate Diva merchandise, Hulk Hogan stuff, back when he was good with the company. Showing that WWF, you know, is real. You get hurt, you bleed, of course you do. Just pain. Matt Stryker when he wrestled. Whatever happened to Matt Stryker? 
Kurt Angle. Maria. These are so different. Yeah, I go through this pretty fast because I can go through all, I can spend forever on these magazines separately, but I don't want this video to be like over 30 minutes. I got I think 40 magazines here. Let's do the math. <laughs> got DX. Who really killed it? I guess that's when I broke up, I guess. This is uh, September 1999. That's weird. I don't know why they broke up back then, but I guess they did. Big Boss Man. Seven of the band. Undertaker stuff. Smackdown. Such nostalgia. <laughs> I remember when the Triple H was impersonating uh, The Rock. That was pretty funny. Yep, this is my childhood right here. Ken Shamrock. Oh, jeez. The end of an era. This is it. the end of the Attitude Era. Who knows? Raw is War. That was just called Raw. I like this cover of this magazine. The kind of icon iconic photo of Undertaker and Mankind. This is a... It says Holiday 2002. So I'm not sure what month that is. Yeah, I guess it's a special collector's issue. Maybe it's Christmas. I'm not sure. Smackdown, shut your mouth. I don't think I've ever had that game. It's a little bit thicker than the other magazines. Yeah, it's just... You got China in the back. R.P. China. I got these a long time ago, but I just haven't had a chance to do a video because I'm so busy with my real job and everything else, and I'm already kind of late putting out this video, so I apologize for that. But, you know, I gotta get these. I really want to show these show these off and put them away and get on to the next uh, video. I do have some cards and stuff I want to show off, some uh, old school WWF trading cards. That uh, it's gonna be another long video, so I really want to get through this uh, video. I know it's not exciting, it's not like Japan, not exploring it, but you know, I do like do, doing these, I guess, inside vlogs, I guess you would call it, like house vlogs, where I'm just kind of showing off my collection, which I have so much stuff in my room, I can do the videos forever, but I like going outside, but it's starting to warm up outside, so I'll probably do a lot more travel vlogs, because I hate you know, being outside in camera equipment, and it's windy and cold, it's not the greatest environment for, uh, you know, vlogging, but, no, that's... That's neither here or there. Let's get back to the magazines. <laughs> All right, Triple H, Randy Orton looks like the evolution is breaking up or something. Triple H turned on Randy Orton. Of course, they got your own advert for The Rock walking tall in the WWF magazine. That's so weird. Dry pits win. Ew. Weird. Randy Orton winning his probably first championship. Rock's greatest hits. That's just pure childhood. It's the game. I remember this. This is your life. Coming soon. Do I have this one? I don't think I have. That's a Diva Search. I thought it was a magazine, but it's not. I don't think. Are these Divas still you know, with the WWEF? I don't think so. I don't recognize any of them. Uh, Tori and Hemi. Yep, I don't think I got those once for Tori and Hemi. Kurt Angle, he's the advert for a uh, power bar. You know, he would. Tony to vote again. Jeez. Monster Hunter, PS2. Here's a funny uh, cover here. We got Randy Orton living large, two girls in front. I don't think those are divas, but I could be wrong. Uh, November 2003. Oh, I remember that guy, Zach Gowan. <laughs> he got destroyed by so many people. Divine Divas, I don't know what that is. Jeez, I missed my magazine or something. Victoria. I like Victoria. So much this like to read and just to remember going through all these is Shane McMahon jumping off something of course when Jordan had no hair oh my line of Jordan that's weird I guess, that, I guess this is like the evolution of Randy Orton or the origin it's kind of cool 
Sable. Some merchandise, kind of cool stuff there. Some belts, coach. eBay is a good spot, good place to find some like vintage clothing. You know, that's where I kind of find some of my jerseys. I'll go over that in a different video, but if you ever find like vintage uh, WWF or WWE stuff, I'll go to eBay for sure. They're usually really cheap. No one wants them for some reason. Phil and the Sting. Stinger, I guess that's a uh, energy drink or something. I guess back then this cost like 1500 yen, about 15 bucks. You know, it's five bucks in the US, that's funny. But I paid less than 200 yen a piece for all these. Got the rock on the front here, one on one with the great one, uh, October 1999. More checkbooks. There's so much stuff in these things. A lot of gore, a lot of blood. They don't, they don't cover it up. They cover it up now for sure. Edge. There's a lot of stuff you can probably learn from these if you not. If he forgot about a certain era in WWE or F, how you want to call it. Now these are actually, I realized I actually am learning a lot from these magazines. The ones I've, I've gone through, I'm like, wow, I'm kind of remembering some feuds and things that like happen. Instead of going to like YouTube, I just read it in the magazine. That's pretty cool. Reading it from like an editor's perspective. Some music advert there. Hey, they go over the cover. Stone Cold, yeah, Blood, Sweat, and Beers. May 2001, Comeback Kid, Shawn Michaels, Defies the Odds. Haku Speaks, uh, So Cold. It's kind of rare to see like a, a spread of a guy in these magazines. Usually they're for divas, for the girls, of course. It's Trish. Cool stuff. I got another 20 magazines to go through. Flair and Ichbor tells all. This is uh, doesn't say the date on it on it anywhere. Oh, March 2002, it's right there. Got, got Deborah. I'm trying to spread in our Deborah somewhere. Yep, Deborah. She was. I think she was old back then. Maybe she looked kind of old. Isn't she Steve Austin's wife now or something? Not sure. Oh, draws. Remember draws? He got, got paralyzed, and I didn't, know, I didn't know they had a spread on him. I think he passed away now, though. Unfortunately. Divas are coming. 2002. Christian. Yeah, I go through this pretty fast now, guys. But uh. So you just get the point of like these magazines and other. It's probably a lot to go through in them, but it's kind of giving you the cover and a little bit of what's inside. I don't want this video to be forever, which already is kind of going on forever. So the Stone Cold and cover, give me a hell yeah. July 2003. And those other spread. It's probably Stacy Kibler or something. Just kind of cut off. <laughs> Hurricane. Here's him gonna come back in the Royal Rumble. Rob Stereo, another one who made it come back in the Royal Rumble. Uh, December 2002. All this merchandise in here, geez. Not sure, that's an ECW Diva. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Don Bury. She's definitely ECW. I don't think she ever made it to the WWE though. I can't remember. Spyro Dragon advert. <laughs> Another one, Jericho. Jericho has arrived. This is probably the year 2000, huh? November 1999. So yeah, that's probably when he returned to Raw. I remember that. Howard Fingal. <laughs> The Rock says, yep. Man, it's old. Stargo spread. 
That's kind of cool, actually. Huh. Dark board. Okay, grill over here. Ring of Dreams. Backyard wrestling. Do not try this at home. Assitude. So you got the Dudley Boys in front here, a special report art and the tag. It's like a tag team special edition here. September 2003. That's pretty cool. Old school uh, Hulk Hogan there. Well, I guess there's WrestleMania collection edition here. But yeah, it's just old. Pure WWF in its finest. Oh, they still look the same to this day. WWE's greatest duo. So yeah, yeah it says WWF still on here. No, that one said WWE. That's kind of weird. So these are all mixed up. But July 1999. Of course, you got you know uh, what's his what's his name. Uh, Godfather. Now they probably would not have this to in today's uh, WWE. No way, because everyone's too sensitive. I remember him though. He has all the the hoes, I guess. This is so much stuff in here, guys. I couldn't believe why I found these. Uh... Oh, there's Ivory, I believe. She's getting inducted to the Hall of Fame. Jeez. All Venus. I'm not sure who that is, but. Don't try this at home. Yeah, don't try it at home. Yeah. Jeez. Fully loaded. We got Triple H in China on the back. Another old magazine. Pretty awesome. Another one still cool on the front. This is from uh, June 2000, it's about 18 years old. There's Ivory again. Kane. Okay. Ivory's Coast. Another spread of Ivory. Jeez. Back then she was kind of old too. Yeah, she's definitely going to Hall of Fame this year. Whoa! No top off. His yeah, Deborah was Stone Cold. I'm not sure if they're still together though. Not sure. So it's on the set of something here. Oh, Saturday Night Live, The Rock. Of course, he's always getting on TV. Team Malenko broke his neck or something. Neck surgery. Duke Nuke, go mad group. Man, still got more magazines to go through. About like 29 minutes, sorry guys. <laughs> this would be a super long video. I'm glad my camera's still recording. Uh, Panasonic uh, G85 does not stop, unlike the Canon uh, SL2. Stops at 29 minutes, so I'm happy about that. So you got Shawn Michaels and Hulk Hogan there. This one, I think, the retirement match, I believe, for Hulk Hogan, Legend, Legend versus Icon, or something like that. August 2005. Road Warriors. Yu Yu Hakusho. The reason I know that is because uh, Kid Shuruk, <laughs> I always hear him saying that word in his videos. He has a lot of Yu Yu Hakusho video games, I think. Another, another big, whoa, Christy, Christy Hemi, and like Maria Canellis on the back, washing a car, 
or pretending to at least. Champ is here with the call long. Ah. Whoa. Oh, okay, Summer Slam. Let's get this thing back in here. Pretty awesome. So about 10 more magazines or so to go. The Rock brings it, November 2001, back when he was a lot smaller. <laughs> Angles infamous milk truck. Zippo's attitude, infamous ladder matches with the Hardys and RVD. More merch. This is a spread of the rock, looks like. Lance Storm. Invasion angle or something. I'm not sure. Victoria? That looks like a very young Victoria. It doesn't look like her. Iron Cheek. Bulk Builder Crash Bandicoot. I remember this commercial actually. It's pretty funny. WrestleMania exclusive. Looks like I have to change my uh, recording. I can't tell. Is it blinking? No, uh, looks fine. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't want to stop recording, me not notice. But that was weird. But uh, okay. Let's say Chris Jericho on the front. Uh, grab it. September 2001. So that happened last time where I. Uh, was talking and I didn't realize my secondary camera went out and my primary camera's audio was like really messed up for some reason. So I had, as I was editing the video, I realized I lost like all my audio from the secondary camera because it shut off or stopped recording because I've reached a limit. So now I'm kind of like just watching the, the timer on my secondary camera and it's over 32 minutes and it hasn't stopped, and it hasn't stopped recording. So that's that's a good thing. So if I pause for a long time, I'm sorry, I was just looking at the time on the secondary camera. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to uh, do this video for a third time. Jeez, whose butt's that? Must be Stacey Keebler's butt. Jericho. So much attitude in these magazines. Dippity doo, sports check. All right, looks like Exodus, the real story behind the flight from Milana. I'm not sure what happened there. Draws, interview, exclusive. He's playing wheelchair. Classy Freddy Blassi. Perry Satter. The Rock. Merchandise. It's like Paul Bear working out. Nice standard magazine, I guess. Nothing too special. This is from April 2000, of course. These two guys are no longer alive. I'm sure you guys know why, unfortunately. All right, Hardy Boys, uh, September 2000. Man, they've been in WWE forever. Let's see, hanging with the Hardys. They're still flipping around, going through tables. Must be part of their necks and backs and stuff. Kate? I'm sure if I... The, one, of the, one of the who's this again? I forget who. Stacy Carter. Not sure. If I remember that or not? Hardy Boys stuff. Just trying to speed up a little bit. Pretty awesome. All these are really good condition. I'm really surprised. <laughs> Your table is waiting. Dudley's July 2000. This is 
so much to go through. A lot of interviews, a lot of exclusive things in here back then. All these spreads, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus. Say her name right. Name of the game. Back when Triple H has been in WWE forever as well. Now he's probably just going to own it. Another Triple H cover. The man you love to hate. June 2001. Probably all about Triple H, most likely. And all this feuds and what's going on with Triple H. There's a uh, Katie. Not Katie Holly, but one of the. Or Miss Molly. Molly Holly. There we go. Molly Holly. She did the Royal Rumble uh, as well, but her hair is a lot shorter. Looks a lot, a lot different. Dippity doo. Yep, Triple H. Rocking with Aerosmith and Ramstein. Triple H, Bassett, Yep, yeah, this is just. Not sure how the magazines are this time around, if they're still like this or not. I haven't seen a WWE magazine in a, in a long time, like the current ones. I'm not sure if they still even have. I'm not even sure if they even still have them. Let's see, Out of the Shadow. This is back when, like, the big show where Paul White was, like, the, the new Andre Giant. It says 10 years after Andre's death, has Big Show finally emerged as a new giant? <laughs> uh, I don't think so, but maybe. Come pretty much on his way out with his hip surgery that he's having right now. Kurt Angle, Pepsi can. <laughs> has the dimensions of the Big Show and, and uh, Andre. It's kind of cool. Back to back. Big Show's kind of cut in half a little bit, but. Jeez. Andre was kind of, he had a lot of back problems. Here comes the pain. He pop a pop. Molly Holly again. Yep, January 2003. Get Taz ready to explode. August 2000, the Heartbreak Kid. That and now, SummerSlam. There's tons of information in here: photos, interviews, merchandise. You know, same old, same old, but you know, Ivory again. Whoa, or Tori maybe. Yep, Tori. She's a bodybuilder. Negative two. Steve Blackman finding some cheese. Duke Nukem advert. Almost done, guys. RVD, Mr. Monday Night, RVD rules on his own terms, November 2002, of course it's the thing that Ivory, oh, again, I believe, Lita, The Rock, thinking, Star Series, they got I think the intro introduction of Brock Lesnar, looks like, RVD, poor guy, whoa, Uh, HBK, he's fighting he's Triple H there. Jeez. Yeah, Tori Wilson, ICP, FYE. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, a few more. I guess this is the best of 2001. You're the Rattlesnake. This is February 2002, though. Hmm. Yeah, behind the scenes there. There's always spreads in these magazines. I guess that's what you can look forward to back then. There's <laughs> Lita, Tori, Molly Holly, jeez. 
Stacy, Terry, Deborah. Not sure if they get if they can get away with that these days though. Sky too hotty. Love triangle. It's Trish. This is WDF New York. Whatever is going on back then in New York, I'm not sure. Special commemorative issue. Interesting. We got Stone Cold on the cover again. Untold story. We got the white shirt. I think I have the white shirt, not the white shirt. We haven't seen Stone Cold downfall. Draws the end in the wheelchair. Jeez. The brain. Fortunately, the brain did pass away. This is back in 2002. Before he, he got really, really bad, I think. Diva photo shoot. Jeez, all the divas. More spread here of. Uh, what's her name? Uh. Chris Stratus. Not sure who that is. This is a uh, Jacqueline Corey Wilson. Quick brawler. A Fozzy advert. That was kind of funny. Featuring Chris Draco members of Stuck Mojo. It's kind of cool. So you got two more magazines. Dudleys, and that's I guess when Stacy Keebler was with the Dudleys. This is uh, April 2002. Backlash, Triple H. <laughs> Jeez. I remember, I remember these fuse. I actually watched this the other day on, on the WWE Network. It was pretty good. I like watching the TLC matches. Stratus and her prime. She kind of still looks like this. It's kind of ageless. Big boss man, RIP. Chris Benoit, RIP. Vita, Gold Dust. Ron Anderson. Advert for Ultimate Fights. Pretty cool. And the last one for now. They got Raw Rising Stars. This is uh, Edge, you know, Christian, Matt, and Jeff Hardy back in their heyday. Uh, this is January 2000. Back when they first started doing the TLC matches and introducing that into, you know, the, into the WWE. And Miss Kitty. Jeez. spreads. That's why, these, that's why people bought these magazines back in the day. <laughs> I don't remember ever buying these back in the day though. You no, know, 18 years later I find you know a whole stack of them in a hobby off <laughs> and I just couldn't, I just couldn't resist because it's this pure nostalgia and that is that is all of them. That is all the magazines all 40 magazines and I'm gonna get out of the chair real quick and show you how I'm gonna preserve these here I got a, uh, it's like a, this is a cover of the, of this binder. It's a, this is a, a China, like, uh, comic book that came with all these magazines. And it's not really, it's not really, it's not at all a WWE magazine, but it's a China comic book. Which is kind of interesting. But I thought it was, you put it for the cover. It's an exclusive, I guess, of some sort. In 2001. But I thought I'd just put it. Uh, in front, just so I know, you know what this is. And for the other one, I was in a book off in uh, I think Tachikawa, and this is this is not a WWE magazine or anything, but it's like a, more of like a, a card magazine. And this is uh, has Goldberg in front, which caught my eye. I think it has like a preview of like the WCW like trading cards. Like it was like the first, it was like the first time ever they they did it. And this is like the introduction of it. It's his first look. So that was really interesting. It tells you how to build your deck in uh, top top 10 cards. Has some bios of some wrestlers and some backgrounds. So I thought that was pretty cool. 
Um, well, the magazine was only like two bucks or something. So I thought I'd pick it up. So it was like double-sided magazines where you flip it over and it's like top deck for Pokemon. But on this side is talks about a WCW Nitro trading card game, exclusive first look. So I thought it's a magazine, but it kind of fits pretty good in, in front uh, here. It's a little tight, but uh, it fits pretty good. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put all of them in there, but for example, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is I got uh, these clear, I guess, paper protectors, and what I'm going to do is just put uh, the magazines uh, in here just like that, so they're easy to, to, to uh, access basically if I want to read them. And they're protected uh, back and front, obviously. And I got two binders because I got 20 sheets in each one. If I, try, if I try to put all 40 in here, it's going to get all bunched up, I think. Even 20 is pushing it. But yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do um, off camera. I just want to show you uh, just a couple examples here. I'm not going to put them in any order. Uh, maybe one day if I get bored, I will or something. I'm not too worried about the order, the order of them. I just want to uh, preserve them, and there is some you will kind of struggle to get it, get them in here. Some magazines are not the same size. But yeah, I think it should work out pretty good. Um, just to uh, preserve them the way they are, and it'd be a good like coffee table book or bookshelf, I guess thing. Um, it's a book full of books. <laughs> so if someone wants to come over and they want to see like some old magazines from WWE, because I am a WWE fan or F fan, but uh, more of the Attitude Era stuff. But I really want, want to uh, preserve these magazines and I uh, wanted to share it with all of you. So I know this video went on way too long, like way too long. Um, I might be able to cut out some stuff to get, it, to get back down, but it's 47 minutes, which is too long. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I get some vlogs out the next couple days, or not days, uh, what, am I, what am I kidding? <laughs> hopefully next week or so um, I can get out and about. The weather's getting nice. And uh, I want to use some of my, uh, my gimbals that I have and some of my new cameras that I have and just test them out in, in the wild. So that's what I like doing the, me the best is uh, getting out there in, in, in Tokyo and Yokohama and all those places and kind of doing some vlogs, kind of showing off uh, just Japan in general. Because I am just a generic J vlogger, as I've been told before. <laughs> I don't care though. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it went way too long. You get mostly probably clipped off of it in the first like minute, which is fine. Um, but if you guys have some popcorn or something or whatever, just you know. Sit back and relax. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there's more coming on the way. I have a, a, a card video coming, like a trading card video, which might be even longer because there's like four or five stacks of, of like vacuum sealed cards that I that I have that are gonna take forever to go through. But uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you're new here, please uh, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit, the, hit that bell, the notification bell. Uh, so you always get notified when I upload videos. Usually I try to do every week. Hopefully I can do, you know, every couple of days. But right now my my schedule is pretty busy with, you know, uh, my, my real job. Now I'm in the military and, and all the good stuff. So pretty busy with that and and uh, just kind of living life. Uh, kind of getting my life organized. Um, selling some stuff, buying some stuff for the, for my studio, upgrading my camera equipment. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like I said before, hit like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.